rest in peace. Yeah, yeah I'm pretending like me no one defend the bed. viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel this is fee in this video i'm going to give a quick update as it relates to the slickiana case um her correct name is anika townsend and unfortunately we know by now that she was found brutally um, murdered in in saint james on the beach a few weeks ago and um there's there has been a major update in the case a few weeks ago we saw where Rashan patterson um someone who they said know her or knew her he was uh char arrested not charged at the time but he was arrested um but today we're here say so he's been officially charged with the murder of slickiana so um the jcf put out a statement today saying the facts are that on thursday october 20th miss townsend traveled from kingston to montego bay where she was picked up by patterson approximately 7 30 p.m during the course of the evening, they visited a restaurant in Hanover and a guest house in St. James. At some point during the night, an argument developed between them, which resulted in Patterson strangling Miss Townsend and disposing of her body. Additionally, a 47-year-old security guard, Rowan Rose, otherwise called Early B, has been charged with misprison of a felony in relation to this same matter. In the three weeks since the investigation into her death began, the St. James and Anova police have conducted a high-level investigation that has benefited from the support of the Area 1 Operational Support Team, the Communication uh, Forensic and Cybercrime Division, the National Inten Intelligence Bureau, and the Technical Services Division, the Specialized Operations Branch, the Jamaica Defense Force, as well as Jamaica Eye. Number two, Rashawn Patterson was arrested during a high-level intelligence-driven operation. He was later charged for an unrelated case of assault that occurred in the St. Andrew South Police Division. This charge is stemming from an, from an incident that occurred in 2018 where he was alleged to have physically assaulted a woman after a jealous rage. That matter will be mentioned in the, King, in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. So, people, that's what JCF had to say. Um, me, for one, never expect this, uh, this to happen today, you know, but it's great news. You know, I'm glad to see them um, do them investigation and everything, you know, and maybe the family can get a little bit of closure knowing that they have somebody in custody and that has been charged. But the thing is, charge is one thing. It's now up to the government, to the, the prosecution to prove the case and you know make sure he gets convicted um if he in fact did it and make sure say him spend whole heap of years the rest of his life behind bars you know because what him do is unforgivable and we know say our family are hurt and friends and everybody but maybe this will give them a little bit of peace of mind it's just now up to everybody else involved the the government the police to make sure justice um is served condolences to the family the friends anybody who you know who loved her who knew her you know my heart goes out to you all and um it's not going to be easy for to move on but you know one day at a time you know i heard that she had a son and honestly me can't imagine how him i feel you know or how he's going to move forward from this you know but on a side note, I'm glad to say, you know, this case is progressing as quickly as it is. Them have somebody in custody, he's charged and everything. But it's just sad overall. There's a lot of cases in Jamaica that goes unsolved, especially as it relates to women and children. And enough of them don't see no justice and especially not this quick. So what more than like is for the security forces, the government to take, you know, more action and 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 just swift action at that to make sure that everybody re um, receive the same level of of treatment as it relates to um you know cases like these you know there are women out there who you hear say them get killed them not get the same i like that way of course no so she um you know the young ladies she's a public figure so of course it's different but the other people them them up they're they're human beings too and you know, I'm a feel like I personally wish 
them didn't have the same people in general have the same level of outrage for everybody else whether it's women or children across jamaica same um you know outcry attention and if we don't look at from what them say as it relates to how many different branches of, of of departments were involved to to solve this crime right so many of them came together and them do it in a in a timely manner that's what i want for everybody else i know say it's probably not gonna be the case in you know for every instance like society overall would would just be in a better place if we see that effort that collective effort you see what happens when all of them come together they were able to solve this crime so i feel like if them use to utilize all of that put them resources together them can solve a lot more crime and people can you know get a, a, a little bit of closure and peace of mind you know that's just my hope let me know what you think about this um you know the the whole update as it relates to Rashawn patterson being arrested you know if i don't have an opinion about what i said you know in terms of the the police giving more attention using their resources and coming together to solve other crimes in a timely manner let me know if you agree if you disagree let me know that as well subscribe to the channel like share catch up on the next one